What is up everyone and of course welcome to our first VPL battle And we are uh, going up against the Dallas Travia or Poké Trip. If you've seen the of course power ranking you know that Trip is uh, Well to be completely honest one of the tough guys and for obvious reasons I am facing a team here which I really can't waver myself around to all too well And I think going, out, going in here with that kind of mindset it's going to be helpful for me because just as a just as the team is looking like his OU mods basically beats my OU mods, which means that you're not gonna see any of my OU mods in this game. And uh, it is because neither Mega the Yenshi, Tornadoes, or Larios does kind of pack enough punch to uh, deal with my opponent, seeing that he has Snorlax. Outside of that, he has Curum B, of course, Zapdos, Mega Sister, which is definitely an issue for me, Reuniclus, Nido Queen, Hitman Top Dog, Trio Granbull, Land and Tenure, and Pyro. So, knowing that when I went in here and tried to sign a team, uh, knowing that, like I said here, that uh, I don't have too much waiver room here, I am in a somewhat situation where I have to be, uh, I can't be as offensive, uh, definitely not being able to use my Mega Energy for this specific battle due to Mega Sister alone is, is troublesome because I think as long as I'm at the energy, I kind of win every matchup I have outside of this one because this one solves it for him. And uh, I had to cut it, uh, which sucks. Uh, what I was trying to say, you know, obviously, no, I'm getting around here. Uh, I'm, my team is here to decide more to trick trip. Haha, uh, <laughs> trick trip. But, uh, but also, since I know that trip probably go aggressive against me because that is the only way he could possibly beat the team. Uh, being fully aware of that any stally uh, situation he'll he'll use against me is going to be the end of him being that I have Scolipede after all. So no defensive responses is what I am to be expecting here. But um, having that said, I guess you'd say the team I'm kind of expecting here is definitely Curum B, Saptos, Mega Sister because you know, damn, they just stole it. And then we have basically Reuniclus, Snorlax. They're also going to be a part of the team. And uh, outside of that, I think it's either Nita Queen or Doug Trio. I don't think the other one solves anything for him. I don't think there's a specific reason to use it. Nita Queen or Doug Trio, any of them would be his possible stealth rocker of the match. Which he kind of needs, even though I'm bringing a team that probably isn't too weak to it. Um, actually planned and not too weak to it. So, you know, that, that's always a point of me. But yeah. Outside of that, I guess knowing that that, that is the team I'm deciding for, uh, I'm gonna use this team. So, like I said, no my OU mods, and barely, or actually two of my UU mods kind of makes it uh, to RU mod and to NU. So, I am, I am about to sign the weaker team, knowing that that is probably gonna face. Hopefully, you know, Trip has a bad day, you know, that's that's an option, but um, <laughs> I'm kind of, kind of banking on that. Like I said, I'm gonna play a bit more tricky. Uh, so first one here is Jelly Synth with enough speed to actually outspeed uh, Mega Scissor after, or if it is a defensive variant, which I think he only needs here. I don't think he needs to creep in any fashion. Yeah, it definitely doesn't solve anything by creeping. So Jelly Synth slightly faster just to Willow Wisp it, saving it away Wakai Berry and enough defense to actually take on a Fusion Ball from Kieran B. Uh, being that I think if he sees Palos one on my team, I definitely think he's gonna go thinking that I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks. So my only kind of option here is to kind of lure him to go for fusion balls and blow his spin. That's the only idea here with Jelly Synth. And uh, hopefully Jelly Synth can actually blow his sister too. That's the only purpose. Um, hopefully, you know, it's not like the assault vest, and if so, then that's going to be even better. But outside of that, Jelly Synth is not the best here. I was considering Trevenant, but it is the, the speed that kind of makes it, or well, not speed, I mean the recovery. Because that means at least he will always two, while Trevenant probably can only take on one of them, and uh, doesn't necessarily do that well. The next one is Hadrigan, and it has enough speed to outspeed a modest Curum B. I don't think that um, Trip is going to try to challenge me in a duel of speed creeping at Timid Hydreigon or hoping or banking that I'm modest. I'm fully aware that he won't. So we have Drake Meteor to get it with expert built. Dark Pulse Flamethrower because obviously we need that and then Superpower being of a hasty nature here and um, I was considered naive but hasty could be the better of the two and um, yeah basically a 2 hit kill on uh, a Snorlax if it is uh, you know a standard special defensive one uh, next one is Palace Wine and here we have a lot of special defense investments to be able to take on well 
pretty much anything, but outside of that, pretty much being 5 hits KO by a Sapdos with Heat Wave. You know, that's the point here, but outside of that, it is a very, very aggressive variant with Ice Shot, uh, Icicle Crash, Earthquake, and uh, what do you call it? Stealth Rocks. I need, I need rocks, obviously. And um, nothing special to it. Um, Palace Wine is a mod that I was considering to vote for Cobalion instead, but Palace Wine solves the issue that is Sapdos, and I kind of want something for specifically that, even though I kind of realize that at the same time, the issue with Palace One is that Sister can come in freely on it and uh, can do anything it likes, basically. So, had was considering Roar at some point, but yeah, trying to avoid that. Then we have, of course, Drapion. Drapion here, max speed and max attack, jolly nature. If his curing by any chance of imagination is um, a timid set and knock out my Hydreigon, unfortunate means, basically then the Drapion should be able to knock it off since it actually she has speed here and uh, it has Shookaberry basically to take the other power that Scooby retaliated. Drapion is not important for the game either, but it has a few options here because we have knockoff, poison jab and uh, firefang. Firefang is a 2-hit KO and we have sword stance too in case we're in a situation where we're going up against Reuniclus. Reuniclus does not want to deal with Drapion which means you get a free uh, Swords stats. And if it has Grand Ball, which I feel is very unlikely, then at least we can hurt it well. Actually, we're down the Poison Jab, I do believe, an Earthquake because of Nidic Queen and Lantern. So, nothing to it. Drapion is either everything or nothing for this specific game. Uh, Scully Pete here, Mega Horn, Hidden Power Fire. Yes, I said it. Hidden Power Fire. And. Uh, what did we have? Mega Horn and Earthquake, I believe. I don't think I needed anything else. Uh, I'm banking on not fending off against the likes of uh, Zapdos against this set. Basically, I won't sit in Scalded as long as Zapdos is uh, on the field. There is no reason to. Uh, we And of course, what stands. We are, of course, adamant this time around and uh, enough speed to beat a timid uh, or a modest cure B. The rest is put on special defense. And uh, yeah, or attack and special defense. I mean, a little bit of HP maybe. Barely remember. <laughs> anyway, it, it's not like Scallopy needs the extra bulk on it in the first place, anyway. And now, last mod is probably my most important mod because if as long as this mod stands, I win the game. It is as simple as that, and that is Tauros. Now, Tauros has always been, you know, oh, it's a niche mod that never works. Yeah, how about you piss off? Here's the thing with Tauros it has speeds everything on its team with little to no issue outside of the trio. And uh, it hurts everything in his team with little to no issue. Um, and it wanted KOs the Mega Sister if it isn't especially defensive with Fire Blast. And uh, then we have, of course, Sun Headbutt, which actually KOs Nita Queen. Even if it is defensive, it is at risk of being KO'd. And we have Rock Slide, which are a 2 hit KO on Zapdos. And then Rock Climb, because why not? It, it's a good filler move. And uh, it 2 it kills Snorlax, even if it's a, a cursed set, then I'm kinda screwed. But Tauros, as long as Tauros are in, nothing can take it on, which is something I feel are important. Reuniclus is probably the only mod that probably can survive a hit from it and retaliate with a Focus Blast if it lands. But even Hitmontop really struggle against this mod, and uh, Tauros just, you know, he, he keeps the pressure up. So like I said, as long as Tauros is active, I should really never lose the game. And, you know, it would be unfortunate for me to fire blast against the sister, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I'm feeling that I've done enough changes to at least make this team viable. Now, I will say this. I'm going in this game knowing that I'm very unlikely to win due to the matchup alone. It's very, very matchup heavy or good against my team that I possibly could bring. Not being able to bring me at the end is definitely a downfall from my side. But I think I've left enough wiggle room here to take... Or, you know, leave Triff with a lead, you know, a run for his money. And I kind of want to win against him. I really want to try to. I don't want to start off yet another league with a loss. So, I'm feeling confident. I think I can screw Trip over. And um, hopefully, you know, get a victory from that. But that will be the team analysis. Um, I'm sorry for not including any sets information. But, uh, I'll, you know, I'll figure that out as we go. Whether or not I'm going to showcase them or not. I um, don't do anything on Showdown, I guess kind of makes it kind of unfortunate when it comes to saving things because I don't use Showdown when I you know, gen mod and stuff like that. Anyway, 
Of course, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to, of course, well, root for your favorite team, which is not the Dallas Arabia. Probably me, just saying. And thank you for all the support, and wish me luck, and I'll see you tomorrow with the battle. So, yeah, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And, of course, check out Trip's channel. Damn it, I'm feeling everything with shit at this moment there. Yeah. Check him out. <laughs> okay, guys, take care. Bye. <laughs>